You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today's video is all about fried fish. This is a great recipe for beer battered fish. It's not complicated and you will love this recipe. For our ingredients, we're gonna need two cups of flour, one third cup of cornstarch, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon paprika, one tablespoon baking powder, one 12 ounce beer, milk, hot sauce, cooking oil, one to two pounds of fish fillets. I prefer to use catfish fillets and this recipe is best done with an amber beer. I use Shiner Bach. This recipe should be more than enough for your two pounds of fish. You'll probably have some batter left over. Okay, place that fish fillets in a shallow container and cover with milk. Now this part's optional. If you're confident that your fish are not too fishy tasting, then you don't have to soak them. Otherwise, soak in milk for at least an hour, or you could soak overnight if you choose. Okay, after soaking in the milk, remove the fillets, discard the milk, and pat the fillets dry. Now sprinkle on a generous amount of your hot sauce and rub it in. Louisiana hot sauce works well and it imparts flavor and when you use it before frying, it doesn't make the fish spicy, just tasty. All right, now is the time to cut up those fillets into smaller pieces if you choose. I like to fry the smaller pieces of fish, but there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just a matter of choice. Cook the whole fillet if that's what you like. Mix all the dry ingredients into a bowl to make you batter. Add in the beer and stir. Now this mixture should resemble pancake batter. If the batter is a little too thin, then add a little more flour. If it's too thick like mine was, then just thin it out with a little bit of beer. Add at least two inches of cooking oil to your pan or skillet. Heat that oil up to 375 degrees. Dip your fish pieces into the beer batter, and if your batter is still a little thick like mine was, then let the excess drip off before placing it in the hot oil. Don't overcrowd your pan. Cook two to three minutes per side or until you get that gold and brown color. And you can place the cooked fish on a baking sheet that's lined with a baking rack. And that goes into your preheated oven at 250 degrees to keep it warm until you're ready to serve. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button on your way out. Consider subscribing and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha, 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 ha.